haven't just been standing here the whole time, if that's what you're thinking. There he is. LaRoche and everyone here at Corona owe you big time, Peyton. You sure know how to make an entrance. Corona's actual. You copy? It's serious. Talk to me, Jay. Observation pod 5 disappeared into the ravine out of umbilical range. We're trying to get a visual from camera 8, but the lens is frozen over. I'm rounding up a rescue team, but they need to know where to set up the harnesses. I'll let Peyton head down ahead of them and make contact. Keep me updated. Out. Peyton, that drink will have to wait. Here. This is a standard-issue Camelot felding grappling hook. You'll need it to descend the ravine. Don't waste a minute. I want them back alive. Pretty lucky. Landed on a solid outcropping. Seems stable enough. Anybody hurt? Our life support's offline! And, uh, we can really use some air! Can you take a look at the, um, the exhaust on the TCS exchanger? I, I it must have gotten crushed in the fall!
Yeah, I see it. Bridge tubes are all tangled up. Give me a sec. I'll see what I can do. Yeah! Yeah! I can hear the life support kicking in now! Thanks, Jim! You're a lifesaver! Alright, you fellas sit tight. The rescue team will be down here in a jiff. Thanks, new guy! I already like you better than LaRoche! Gracie, got your message loud and clear. And the tunes. Great thought. Thanks. I'm here in one piece. Might be overstating it, but we made it. I'm safe. Just getting oriented. And 
Yeah, there's nothing awkward about this at all. <laughs> Guess we're gonna have to get used to it. Keep sending, okay? Remind me why I'm out here doing this. I miss you.
your job to keep Coronas fueled by finding these thermal pockets on your own, planting T-posts, and maintaining them when they're full. Harvest them regularly and you'll be raking in the credits in no time. Got it, boss? I think this work is just my speed. Sometimes being the one to get the call meant you ended up in some damn strange situations. <laughs> on a side of juice. The one time I want an acre to attack. <laughs> what was I? Something about getting the call. Yeah, right. Well, now you know how hard it is to communicate off-world. In those days, never had a work around. An antenna relay on the highest, highest peak, peak in the area, so we can call home to Mama with minimal storm interference. It's our lifeline. Two hours ago, we went offline, and we don't know why. We're effectively cut off from sending and receiving any off-world communications. Uh, some acrid probably got his claws into it. So once again, you expect me to march out there and fight a horde of monsters in a rig without weapons, huh? Do you know how much of my income I waste on repairs? I want guns on my rig, a simple chain gun. My hands are tied. Nevic regulations. Yes, yes, don't weaponize the construction vehicles, but I mean in this but case... nothing. I'm not gonna jeopardize my operation because of your nerve deficit. It's called hazard pay for a reason. Oh, please. Hey, boss. Just nurse Comsat's offline. Yeah. Mind if I hustle down the relay station? Give her a gander? I was just talking to Mr. LaRoche about that very thing. Apparently he's got some concerns about making nice with the wildlife. Well, no, I don't want to just snake a man's contract. No, no, no. Take it. Get yourself killed. Not for at least double, I mean. Done. What? Be back by supper time. 